Hello, my makeup loving friends. Yes, I know, I'm late. <laughs> but at least it's not like I'm late as in, look, it's fine. Uh, it was my birthday weekend and I got a bit mopey and um, yeah, uh, not, not afraid to say I was quite depressed. Yay! But I figure I might as well be transparent about it and not pretend that things were fantastic when they weren't because I don't think that's healthy. Um, and obviously as a psychologist, I'm all for uh, transparency and being really clear on mental health. Um, I did film this look. This was me attempting to do the foxy eye thing. <laughs> Um, so I'm hoping I'll have that up in the next trial. Who knows? I have a lot of things filmed and mm, we'll see. I don't know what that was about. Anyways, before I get into this, I have to say, of course, thank you to Jody, to Paula, to Claire, to Rebecca, to Amanda, Tia, and I always pronounce Tia's name wrong. I think it's T Dia Dia. I'm so sorry, I am trying. Kelly, Rosie and Jenny for tagging me in um, all of the stuff in the last, well, more than a week because I've been bold, naughty. Uh, but without you guys, I, I really wouldn't have an, an episode to put together. So thank you so much, I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm starting off the section, I suppose, with an almost buyer beware section. Myself and Rebecca, who has her own YouTube channel, and hopefully if I have enough characters left in my description box, I can link her. If not, I'm very sorry. Rebecca will probably comment below. Go find her. She's brilliant. She's um Rebecca J U reporting for Beauty Duty. She um commented uh to me about this. Now I had seen it already and it had already made my blood boil. And uh, she was like, I need to talk to somebody about this. And I was like, yes, let's talk about this. Okay, so this is the uh, Huda Mercury Retrograde uh, palette, which is, by the way, a lovely palette. I have that palette. I do quite enjoy it. I, I do think in general Huda stuff is like overpriced. I think obviously in those cases you're paying for the name, but I do think it's very good. Now, the Huda Mercury Retrograde in general is £58. This is on Cult Beauty and I think on a few other places. But this is being sold for £75. Now, why is there a £17 difference? Like, almost an, an increase of 30% in terms of the price. Oh, they put some crystals on it. Really? Really? Is it £17 worth of crystals? I highly fucking doubt it. Um, but yeah, I wanted to draw your attention to this. It's just... It... it, it tease me off like it really really annoys me um we have a lot of indie brands who are busting a gut coming out with new interesting stuff and uh they are releasing things not because um you know they're trying to make themselves rich but they are trying to keep afloat and here we have a mainstream brand which has a lot of money and they're just like uh oh, going for a quick cash grab and it just annoyed me. Anyways, um, another thing I was uh, tagged in this and it was Vicky's shop. And they, by the way, have a sale of 70% off and they're trying to pretend that they basically have Morphe stock. Now, if you're familiar with Morphe, uh, particularly the Morphe Jeffree Star palette, they're trying to make out that that's what they have. Now, that does not actually look like the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. Go on, go find yours report back to me does that look the same no it's not so I basically I wanted to warn you guys that this there's a lot of places out there that are trying to pretend that they have Morphe stock when they don't another one is Morphe retail who are how do I even say it who are audacious enough to actually put the word Morphe into their name so they're saying that they have these particular uh, palettes uh, for 50% off. Now, Morphe themselves have a lot of sales going on. So, you know, you would be forgiven for thinking that this could be another offshoot of it. However, um, there are some things like from UK Trustpilot. I will include that here. Um, the, the receipts, the tweets and the receipts. The receipts and the deleted tweets. Sorry. Sorry, Elena. I screwed that up. But I did try. I have my receipts and I have my deleted tweets. There we go. I tried as best I could. Anyways, it's very clearly, it's a fake site. So if you see that, it is too good to be true. Stay away. Stay away. Um, this isn't so much a buyer beware, but um, we've all been missing Colourpop. 
Uh, I used to make a joke about, you know, then coming out every week and being like, God, gotta pop, chill out. But I do miss them. And, you know, they're, they can get away with releasing a lot because they are an affordable brand. But part of why they had been gone was they had basically made it so that they were giving all their PPE gear to people in front lines rather than keeping it in their in their warehouses for themselves and for their workers. And they instead decided that they would send their workers home and just wait until things died down. To which I say, well done, Colourpop. Well done. I just think that's such a, a great thing for them to have done. I know that they're starting to open up again now and they're starting to ship orders. So if you made an order, um, kind of the beginning of March, etc. You should be getting yours in the next while. Um, and also like, well done Colourpop. It's nice to see people doing nice things. But let's get into it. There are a lot of new releases. Um, we're gonna be, we're gonna be here. Grab yourself a tea, get some biscuits if you haven't done it already. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna question our life choices. Uh, the first thing that was announced was uh, Fresh Beauty are coming out with a Rose Deep Hydration Lip Balm. So it apparently has a blend of emollient oils, so including uh, apricot kernels, black currant seed, grapeseed oils, um, and it also has vitamin E. So it's available now in the States uh, via Sephora and via Fresh's own website, but they're gonna come to Korea from the 14th of May uh, to France, Italy, Netherlands, and Poland. Poland? Poland? One of the Teletubbies has their own land. Poland. God, and I have students from Poland. Um, it's coming to them from the end of May, from the 2nd of June, it's coming to Australia, New Zealand. And later in uh, the summer, it's coming to Canada, to Singapore, um, Malaysia, Thailand, and it should be coming then to Cult Beauty, etc. So if you're interested in that, there you go. There's a lot of lip stuff coming out. Um, Sugary Cosmetics have come out with their Sugary Scoops ice cream collection. There's a lot of stuff in it. They have their banana split eyeshadow palette for $30. Um, the colours themselves aren't that interesting and I think when I see an eyeshadow palette that's that shape it has to be very very interesting or it kind of bugs me that I'm like how am I going to store this? <laughs> has me trying to store things. Um, but there you go, it's $30. It has 17 shades uh, with a light banana scent so again if that's the sort of thing that kind of irks you this this is not for you, boo. This is not for you. It has five dazzling shimmers and 12 mattes. Um, the next thing they have is a real ice cream cone highlight palette, which I'm like, why are you saying that it's real? Like, surely it's not an actual real light. Anyways, it seems a bit superfluous to say that. Um, it is $16 and it comes in three shades with a chocolate scent. Uh, they have the ice cream bucket, which is a blush palette uh, for $18, which comes in four shades, which reminds me hugely of BH Cosmetics little four pan palettes that they came out with a couple of weeks ago it was like their sort of biscuit thing it reminds me hugely of that I do like the colors in that like I think orange kind of blushes are very on trend it makes a lot of sense the next thing they have then are lashes for $30 they have the ice cream lash menu it has five different lash styles um, they have Frieza and cherry matte lipsticks uh, for $10 or you can get the whole bundle for $104 that was available from April 27th so it's available now if you want to as per usual all the links are down below in the description box I have gone through the trouble of finding all of that information for you. So, you know, just to make your, your purchasing that little bit easier. Um, Etude Official, um, which I find interesting as to why they're called Etude, but that's that's a whole different thing. Because I'm like, isn't Etude like e -E -T -U -D -E -S, French for studies? Anyways, they have the Play Color Eyes Rose Wine Palette. It has 10 shades in matte shimmer and glitter finishes. Um, so it is uh, currently retailing for 21 US dollars 12 cent, which is an introductory uh, price because usually it'll be $26.40. Uh, but they also have a bundle introductory thing where you can get the, the palette, you can get the Better Lips Talk uh, lipsticks in the shades PK014 and 0 or, or rather or, or one, uh, 210 the easy fit gel eyeliner in deep brown and the jewel wide eyes mascara in brown um so you can get the whole thing together uh for 67.68 um 
and that was until the 30th of April, but I would imagine it's probably still there. Um, Freck Beauty, who are known for coming out with you know, those freckle pens, they have come out with a new cleanser. So there you go. It's it's there. It's an indie brand if you want to check that out. Copacetic Cosmetics, who I did just buy some, a lot of stuff from recently, and they are coming. And uh, that new slash, it's primarily green. Yay! Anyways, they have their April quad. It will obviously be available for, uh, for purchase outside of their subscription box, but people who get the subscription boxes will get this first. So that is their quad that is available soon. Uh, the Collective Cosmetics is bringing back their fan favourite highlight. It's called Moonlit Morgue. It's part of their Fall Forever collection. It's available now on their site and you can use the code Indie Mood, I-N-D-I-E-M-O-O-D for 10% off. It is affiliated. It's not affiliated with me. It's affiliated with somebody else. It's from uh, the people I get this sort of information from. Again, I have info as to where I get all this information from, but there you go. That that does look quite cool. It it. it Appeals to my spooky, spooky heart. M Cosmetics, so E M M E Cosmetics. Uh, they are a Canadian brand. They have uh, given us a little look at a new single eyeshadow called Dream Lagoon. So it's a blue with a sort of a teal flip, and that is available now. If you want to have a look at it. Um, Arm Cosmetics have come out with the Myocardium sponges. Um, and I was kind of looking at those, and I was like, uh, the shape doesn't like. How would I? like it doesn't it doesn't make sense from a makeup point of view however what I will say is um they are retailing for 10 US dollars and 50% of the proceeds do go towards the CDC COVID-19 foundation so I do think that that's very very good I think that's very very generous of them but I do think that that's a really weird design for a sponge like why I also think it would break or tear very easily when there's like a fold in it like that. It does look like I'm trying to insert my finger somewhere that it should. Look, get your mind out of the gutter. That's not where I'm going. Or is it? Who knows? Anyways, that's the myocardium sponges. Uh, you can also use the code SPRINGBABE all in caps for 20% off if you're interested. Uh, Clutch Cosmetics have come out with a new unicorn eyeshadow palette. Um, it's 18 shades, it's $19.99. It's your standard sort of a rainbow palette with some glitters. So there you go, indie brand, well done. This, this I am very interested in because when I saw the swatches, Ha 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 nom 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 I wanna spot you on my face. This is uh from Makeup by Che. Uh it is the California Dreamin' Che Shadow Palette, which is really interesting because I wouldn't really associate that with California colours. Um but I can kind of appreciate where they're coming from, like it's probably like nighttime colours. Anyways, I'm there because there's blues and there's purples, and I, I feel like I could do a lot with that. And it's available now for $28 if you are interested. I'm interested, uh, but I need to chill out because I have way too much makeup. Like I have a, I have a pile of makeup sitting waiting for me to play with it and test it. And I haven't done it because I'm a bad, bad person. So why is life so difficult? Don't know. It's my own fault. Uh, Almeida Cosmetics have come out with two new matte liquid lipsticks. Um, they come in a red shade and a purple shade. So uh, they are available now if you want to check those out. Um, uh, Benny's Boutique, uh, and when I say boutique, I mean a boutique, B E A U. Uh, teak. Again, all the information down below. They're coming out with 30 new single eyeshadows. They've kind of presented it in this way so that it's in like little nine pan palettes, but you could obviously build your own. There's some really pretty looking shades there. Uh, they launched on May 1st and uh, each shade is $4. So that's not bad. Um, Shy's Beauty has come out with a new eyeshadow palette. Um, it is 20 US dollars. I don't think there's a name for the eyeshadow palette itself. I think it's a fairly new brand, so it might be the only product they have. Um, it's not for me personally. It's like half neutral and then half like primary colours, and I'm a little bit confused by it. It's not for me, but there you go. 
Um, sweet breast fuzzies, there is a lot of um, pastel liners coming, like, and there has been a lot coming, and I've been noticing that over the last while. But Belegant Cosmetics have come out with new pastel and neon liners. Uh, they launched on Friday the 1st of May, and uh, they are available now. Uh, they're, they're water activated, so they do look quite cute. So if you're looking for some pastel slash neon liners, there you go, Belegant Cosmetics. Um, B Bella Cosmetics have also come out with a new uh, product. It is the Cool Breeze Eyeshadow Palette. It is apparently coming soon. Um, it's kind of warm neutral with some little bits of blue and green in there. Not wildly interesting to me, but there you go if you're interested. CoverGirl have also expanded their clean fresh range with the Fresh Prep and Set Water Mist. Uh, so they say that the benefits include that it hydrates, it primes and sets, it's lightweight, it's vegan, it's formulated without formaldehyde, phthalates, parabens, sulfates or talc and it's available now on Ulta Beauty for $9.99. It does come in three fragrances, so cucumber, rose and citrus. So again, you know, you could pick up one or you could pick up all three. I'm not telling you to pick up all three. You do you, boo. But Lord knows I have problems, so I can't be telling people what to do. <laughs> not when it comes to makeup. Real Techniques have, I think I sneak peeked this, but I have more information about it now. They have their new Cashmere Dreams collection. So it includes a concealer brush for $9.99, a complexion brush for $12.99, a contour fan brush for $12.99, a blush brush for $12.99, a highlight brush for $12.99, a powder brush for $12.99, and an eye fantasy kit for $19.99. And that includes six um, eye brushes and a brush pouch. And you can get a complexion sponge duo for $9.99. Um, I tend to gravitate more towards eye brushes than anything else. I'm pretty minimal on my face. Like I don't tend to do a lot with my face makeup because I'm a bit basic. But there you go. But I do like real techniques. I have real techniques from my collection that I've had for maybe 10 years and they're still perfectly fine. You know, in fact, I would say that this one uh, and I can't you can't buy it singularly which does annoy me so um, I'm putting out a call now if anyone has any of these spare that they don't want right they are the real techniques um, accent brush send them to me I will um, reward you with love and attention so yeah, that's about all I have. <laughs> but I do like the Real Technique brushes. I think they're very good. Speaking of brushes, Sigma are also coming out with their Rose Gold Glam set. Um, it's a dual makeup brush and cleansing matte set featuring the F80 Flat uh, Kabuki brush and Sigma Spa Express cleansing matte uh, or cleaning matte in limited edition Rose Gold shades. Now I have the F80 here. I don't have a problem. Um, yeah. No, that's the F50. I thought I had the F80. No, I don't have the F80. <gasps> Do I have to rectify that? No, Tracy, you don't. Anyways, you can get the whole thing together for $42 if you're interested. No, you don't need any more brushes, Tracy. You literally just said you don't use face brushes that often. Can your tits. Hmm. This next bit I'm mm, confused by, right? So NYX have come out, I'm, I'm gonna shimmy. NYX have come out with a California Beeman collection. Now I'm not confused about the California Beeman, that makes sense, but the colors that they're associating with it does not make sense. So they have their California Beeman liquid highlighters and they're $10 each and they come in Bombshell, which is a silver, Beach Babe, which is a rose gold shimmer, Pearl Necklace, uh, which is a pearl, and Golden Glow, which is golden. What are you gonna do with a silver highlight? Who is that for? I'm genuinely... And then when you look at the swatches of them, it doesn't seem to suit any skin tones. So I'm very confused. And then the next one I'm confused by is their California Beam and Glow Booster for $10. And that seems to be like, um, like a powder formula, but it's silver. Who, 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 who is that for? That's going to give you a terrible grey cast. That's, no, no, that's, that's not good. NYX have also come out with their new Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Colour. Uh, they're $8 each. They say it's a semi-sheer shiny finish lipstick infused with ginger and hyaluronic acid for a smooth and shiny just bitten look and eight full hours of hydration. 
just bitten look. What they mean like in a sexy like mm, I'm biting my lip gloss just ah <laughs> screen grab that as opposed to like somebody has just like huh because I've I worked with small kids for a long period of time that also had developmental disabilities and uh, a bitten lip was usually like somebody decided they'd try and take a chunk out of your face so I'm like oh you mean the sexy bitten lip not the I've had part of my face removed bitten lip gotcha Nick's gotcha this doesn't annoy me as much as the last one um <laughs> One week. I asked for one week where I didn't have to talk about cannabis sativa BS. I couldn't even do that. Couldn't even do that. Nyx, you are the prime offenders. Um, I talked about their Bear With Me cannabis sativa seed oil. It was in a sort of a sneak peek. Was it two weeks ago? Here we go. It's here. It's their Revitalize and Set Multitasking Spray. It's infused with soothing cannabis sativa seed oil and caffeine to awake the skin for $10. Look, whatever. I'm done with that. I don't care. Um, they also... <laughs> I'm so bitchy today. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hashtag not sorry. Um, but they also have the Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Jelly Cheek Colour. Why? Why? What, what is that meant to do? It's a gel blush infused with soothing and hydrating cannabis sativa seed oil delivers a naturally flushed look in six shades for $10. Anyways, I'm going to move on because that's just going to drive me bananas. Uh, we're on to the revolution section because, you know, revolution always have stuff. Makeup Revolution have launched the Velvet Kiss uh, Lip Crayon and it comes in 3, 6, 9, 12 shades and they're each £5, €5.99 or US dollars and it varies in shades from the Chauffeur which is a light brown nude cupcake which is a baby pink, Cutie which is a bright pink decadence, a cherry red which let's face it that's the sort of thing I'm interested in, uh, Fling which is a brown nude, Heart Race which is a peach nude, Icon an orange nude, Rosé, a dark rose, again, interested in that. Uh, Ruby, a classic red, again, also interested in that. TGIF, deep brown. Vampire, dark red. But anything with red at the moment, that's I'm gravitating towards it. And White Wedding, which is a pink nude. So those are available now if you're interested. In addition to that, they have gotten some like glow pieces ready. Um, so they have, for example, um, these three body glows. And when I saw these initially, I thought Iconic London. It looks exactly like Iconic London. So they said, um, it's by Makeup Revolution. It's their new Revolution Glow range, uh, which has already landed. It's the first products for your glow on your skin and for your body. Um, so that is available now if you're interested, but it also comes like with like a little brush as well. In addition to that, uh, they have, obviously there are three body glows. They have their uh, Glow Body Blending Brush, but they also have six matte bronzers that they're coming out with, um, one illuminating primer and one 28 pan eyeshadow palette. Now, can we talk about the um, 28 pan eyeshadow palette just for a second? Because it's reminding me of something that I have definitely seen before. And I think it might have been a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. Somebody probably has it. Tell me which one it is because it's driving me a bit bananas. Anyways, it looks really, 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 really like that. And a lot of the shades are dupes of themselves. That could have been edited so much better because a lot of those shades are so similar to each other that they're going to look exactly the same behind. You might as well not have them there. Am I being salty? Ah, maybe. But they could have made it a 20 pan, maybe even an 18, 15 pan eyeshadow palette. And we would have had the exact same effect. Also, I thought we were done with the pop up blue effect. I'll get over it. Uh, Revolution are also launching a new hair care range. It's apparently coming in June uh, of this year. Uh, they said that the first ray wave rather will be a range of vegan, powerful skincare ingredient and vitamin-based shampoo and conditioners. Uh, then more targeted and personalized ingredient solutions will follow later in 2020. I'm gonna say I'm I'm interested because um, I've really bad psoriasis. Um, you can't tell it's just on my scalp it's just on my scalp I don't really get it anywhere else um but it's very very painful it's very sore and at the moment I'm using a lot of Capisal which um smells sexy oh. <laughs> I mean whatever it 
kind of works but if I can find something else that's cheaper that works better I will I will go for it you're welcome. You now know about my gross scalp. Uh, we Makeup are coming out with some new IF lipsticks. Uh, these lipsticks apparently give volume with a soft glowy finish and they're available in 14 shades. Uh, the creamy texture gives a bold effect and the vegan formula has vitamin E to apparently help keep your lips hydrated. And they come in the shades uh, 96 Humil, which is a terracotta, 97 Borgese, which is a red, uh, 02 Marsili Nude, which is a neutral nude, uh, 05, which is Gordon brownstone which just makes me think of Gordon Brown the former Prime Minister of the UK a uh, nude biscuit brown shade uh, 06 which is Newbury Carmine a dark rose nude a Zuma uh, dark rust which is a Marsala hue with a strong red base uh, Hua Lele uh, umber I'm very sorry if I'm uh, butchering these words but there you go it's a neutral umber nude and Tade Rosewood which is a pinkish nude uh, 20 Selena Rose which is a vivid salmon 22 uh, Vico Fuchsia which is a bold raspberry 27 Malabar Oxblood which is a blood red which is probably are we surprised? The shade I'm interested in at the moment uh, 34 Catla Wine which is a wine shade Cattle wine, wine. Okay, fair enough. Think about these things a bit more. 41, which is Hecla Barn Red, which is a deep red, and 44, Milo Smulberry, which is a raspberry red. And they are available now for $17 each. Um, yeah, there you go. I mean, I'm not picking up any of these because I have enough. Like I really I do, I do, I don't need to get any more. I have a problem. It is what it is. Um, KKW have their Mrs. West collection. Um, it is available now. It's inspired by her makeup on her actual wedding day. And, well, I'm sorry. I'm not. Um, I'm not um, a Kardashian fan. They're just not my kind of thing. But I'm talking about it because you never know. And <laughs> also, one of the shade names. Take a see. Right, they have the Mrs. West eyeshadow palette, which is thirty dollars and has mattes, metallics, etc. One of the shades, by the way, all the shades can be used either wet or dry. One of the shades is "Please Marry Me," and I'm like, that's me. That's me in my everyday life when I'm dating. Not that I'm dating anymore, but when I'm dating, I'm all like, "Hello, I'm needy. Come love me. Take care of me. I want to wear a white wedding dress." It's now. It's now out there. There's now a record of me saying that. That's why I'm going to die alone and be eaten by the cats. But there you go. Uh, they also have the Love Creme Lipsticks for $18. The Love Lip Liner for $12. The uh, Soul, Soulmate Gloss for $18. The Forever Highlighter for $20. Flower Wall Blush, $18. The Lip Bundle is $42. And that includes the Love Creme Lipstick, the Love Lip Liner and the Soulmate Gloss. Or you can get the Vault for $100, which includes the whole collection. Which, in fairness, does save you a little bit of coin. So... At least when they're putting a bundle together, you do genuinely save money. You know how I feel about these things. Mario Badesco has come out with a new hyaluronic dew cream. Um, it apparently replenishes skin with light botanical infused hydration formulated with a sodium hyaluronate uh, complex for maximum moisture without the heaviness. This oil-free moisturizer leaves skin looking fresh and dewy. It features antioxidant rich green tea extract and clarifying thyme extract for $26. So it's available now if you are interested and I assume it'll come to Beauty Bay because Beauty Bay normally stocks them. Um, oh, so Dior Beauty have their Forever Foundation, which I have been trying recently. And um, anyone who knows me knows I, I, I'm I annoyed because I actually really like it. <laughs> oh my God, damn it. <laughs> Why do I like expensive foundations? But it seems that they have their Forever Summer Skin Lightweight Formula. It's apparently going to give a natural glow to your skin. It gives 24 hour wear. It gives a healthy glow, fresh tint. It's heat proof and sweat proof, and it will be coming soon to Dior. No, I can't justify getting it, but I did enjoy the last Dior. So there you go. Chantecai, which is a bougie AF brand. Um, they are coming out with a new radiance elixir. It's an illuminating glow serum. It's infused with glow boosting intelligent botanicals that leave the skin visibly radiant, apparently. Um, so you can basically use it with your moisturizer or with your foundation or you can apply it directly to your skin if you want. That is coming soon, so no real additional information on that, but I'm like, oh, that's gonna cost me my firstborn, my left leg, my right ovary. I don't know. 
oh no, I have, I have like a Chantecai blurring powder that has been in my basket for a very long time in Cult Beauty and I haven't been able to click by. So it's all really, uh, Caudalie, it's just like the time of moisturizers and skin stuff, isn't it? Or is it just me being insane? Anyways, um, Caudalie have come out with a new uh, Vino Perfect a Brightening Moisturizer with Niacinamide. It's an oil-free gel moisturizer with brightening veniferine, niacinamide and natural pearlizers to address the look of dark spots, visibly even tone and give skin a glowing appearance for $59 pretty expensive but uh there you go yeah if you feel like being bougie with your skincare there you go uh sugar pill have come out with a new single uh it is called bitter melon um it is in a 36 mm compact so that's actually quite big i think 36 mm is about is it about this big hello it's about this big anyways <laughs> i don't know i'm not a very good judge of depth much to um much to the pleasure of many men. <laughs> I'm not very good with, with perceiving links. Um, it is $13. It's a nice shade, but I wouldn't bother buying just like one shade. Like, you know, it, and I'm not even really that interested in their capsule collection. I don't know how I managed to like cut my arm, but there you go. I hear children outside. Stay inside, you're meant to be social distancing like the rest of us. Stop enjoying yourself. <laughs> I've become so bitter. Um, Gucci are coming out with a new um, powder. It's a matte pressed powder. Um, they say the beautiful compact design inspired from iconic Hollywood movies and the vintage era. And let's be real, it does look very, very pretty. Like it does, it looks bougie AF. It's a lightweight formula packed with micro reflecting lamellar powders and emollient agents that melt into the skin and gives a luminous complexion infused with a subtle floral fragrance. It's encased in a refillable compact available in 12 shades and it's coming soon. Um, I wonder how good the shade range is. They usually aren't great, let's be real. I would be semi-interested in that, but like it's gonna cost me an arm and a leg, so probably not. Um, MAC have been coming out with a lot of things. This is, it seems to be an Asia exclusive release for now. It's a collaboration with Honor of Kings, which is like a, a multiplayer online game. So they have four different collections, uh, each for the four main characters. Um, it was available on the 28th of April in Japan and Thailand and Taiwan, um, in Hong Kong, Korea and um, other Asian countries. But they did say that there's a possibility it might be coming to Mac in France uh, sometime in mid-May. And it might also be coming to other EU uh, countries uh, like Germany, etc. Uh, it's a limited edition uh, collaboration. So yeah, it includes uh, five Mac lipsticks, four Mac eyeshadow quads and four mini, co uh, mini uh, little palettes for, uh, with two eyeshadow pans and uh, one mini extra dimension highlighter in the shade Double Gleam. So if you're interested, it might be coming to your country, but it also might not. Who knows? This is very much Schrodinger's makeup. Very specific physics joke. There you go. Give Me Glow have revealed their spicy collection, So Hot. Um, it includes their eyeshadow palette, which I've kind of sneak peeked for a while now. It's extra spicy, uh, has nine shades, six mattes and three shimmers. Um, and what I will say is I love the Give Me Glow formula. If you're in the States, you can get your paws on Give Me Glow. I hate you. I, I want it, they're so good. Uh, they also have three liquid um, matte lipsticks uh, in El Diablo, Jalapeno Poppers and Buffalo Sauce. Now, none of those shades I necessarily wear, wear other than El Diablo, which is a red, and maybe Buffalo Sauce, which is like an orange, but I can't see what I would do with the green. Although if, if it was eye safe, I would totally use it as a liner. But there you go. Those are coming soon if you are interested. In addition to that, they've also added some additional new uh, single shades to their range, including uh, Tiger Lily and Stoned. So again, you can pop those into your baskets. Um, NARS had been sneak peeking some stuff and actually a chunk of this is already on Cult Beauty if you are interested. They have the NARS Summer 2020 Part 2. Uh, it includes two eyeshadow quads, uh, three lipstick shades in Everyday Glam and Nude Neutrals. Um, so that seems to be part of what's going on. And they also have the NARS Orgasm 2020 collection. Um, so they have an, a, like an orgasm shade, but it's 
a new, it's a new take on it. So it seems to be a pinky gold with a sunny uh, coral sort of a base tone. Um, this particular collection um, has um, a face palette, lip oils, and more NARS eyeshadow quads. So again, you can see an awful lot of this on Cut Beauty as it is. Dandelions Cosmetics are coming out with some new mattes. This is what they've kind of told us they're coming out with. Seems to be some navy and greens. Haven't tried anything from them. This one got me. This one got me, right? I love the hunk game so much. I really do. Um, and LA Splash are doing a Hunger Games at uh, the exhibition collection. So um they I have a lot to say. So they have the classic eyeshadow palette. You can totally see how that's like for the districts because it's very basic, it's very neutral, which makes sense because they wouldn't have a lot of resources. That is $20. They have the dazzling eyeshadow, which is totally for District 1, who has all of the resources, and that's $20. And you can see that there's like a pop of pink and a pop of blue, but I would what I would say is they missed a trick. They should have had more in there, like as in more colours, because the other two shades are very um very plain and I'm like no 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 you sh should have gone for the extra oomph. Uh, they have the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick uh, for $16 and that comes in the shades Capital, Girl on Fire, Katniss and Primrose. Oh, Primrose. Uh, they have the Capital Couture and Girl on Fire Luminous Liquid Glitter Liner for $14 in the shades Victor, Claudia's Finnick. God I loved Finnick. I loved Finnick. Sorry. It's all getting too much. I loved the books, but the guy who played um Finnick in, in the books or in the film. <laughs> Beautiful. Um they have Embers, Cinna. Oh, I loved Cinna and Cole. And they have 3D foaming clashes for twelve dollars in the in the styles Effie, Flavius, uh, Octavia and Venia. So that is uh, exclusive to LA Splash. Um, so I don't think it's coming to Beauty Bay anytime soon. So if you like any of that, you may have to get it via LA Splash themselves. Uh, Seattle London have come out with a disco nap two in one everyday balm uh, mask. So it's for your lips. Again, it's already available now on Seattle London. And I think it's on like Look Fantastic and stuff as well. So if you're interested in um, like a lip mask, there you go. Um, I know a few of you like RuPaul's Drag Race. I never got into it because I'm old and there you go. Um, they, there's, how do I say this? Okay, so this is a collection that's inspired by RuPaul's uh, Drag Race uh, and it's from Graceful Nail Polish and it's in collaboration uh, with Kate from McFresh Nail Attire. So they have five shades from each brand. Um, so the shade names we have so far is <laughs> um I'm a polish remover bit um I'm not swearing because I don't want to it's a light teal metallic foil flake with micro red metallic glitter uh I need an adult um which is a pink burgundy bronze orange multi-chrome <laughs> this next one I do actually get the reference to uh not today Satan which is a of course in tribute to Bianca Del Rio uh it's a purple to blue thermal with UCC flakes and silver hollow micro glitter which is quite cool there's pond scum green uh which is inspired by Michelle Visage's dislike for green it is a neon chartreuse with black hollow and matte glitter in hex triangles and uh, rectangles uh, um, it's not personal, it's drag, uh, which is inspired by Alyssa Edwards. All That Glitters, um, which is inspired by Evie Godley, uh, which is bronze, gold and copper flakies and shimmer in a clear base. There's The Future of Drag, which is platinum, silver flakies and glitter. Hey Kitty Girl, which is inspired by Trixie, which is a black and purple base with pink shimmer and rainbow sparkle flakies. Uh, Posh on a Penny, which is uh, by uh, inspired by Bag of Chips. Uh, which is pink to violet shimmer in a clear base with a sprinkle of blue dust and wigs on wigs on wigs uh, which is a frosty lettuce green polish with strong gold shimmer and that collection is available now on Graceful um, Nail Polish if you're interested. Um, Tala Harper Skincare has come out with a new water lock uh, moisturiser. They say that this lightweight moisturiser is engineered with natural water locking technology to create a breathable skin barrier for a silicone free sooth smoothing effect. Um, so yeah. Oh. 
Oh, there you go. So they said that to the incredible healthcare workers on the front lines of COVID-19, thank you. Our gratitude is beyond measure in our ongoing effort to support our heroes. We will be donating a full-size water lock moisturizer for everyone sold while supplies last. That's quite nice, because uh, we all know that actually uh, people who are on the front lines, they are actually dealing with a lot of like skin issues because the, the uh, PPE materials are very rough on the skin. Um, so I think that's a very nice gesture. So they are cruelty free and refillable and they're available now if you're interested. Elamaska have their Beyond Liquid uh, Highlighters. It is an illuminating liquid highlighter, a lightweight formula adding luminosity to your complexion. It can be used to enhance the high points of the face, creating a natural radiant glow or all over for a dewy skin finish. It can also be mixed with foundation or blusher to add a brightening multi-dimensional shimmer for £24. And you can get them in the shades Days, which is a frosty pearl pink finish, which is probably what would suit me. Uh, OMG, which is a champagne pearl shimmer and Epic, which is a golden bronzed. So they're available now. Glam Glow have revealed that they have a new product. It is the Youth Potion, which is a rejuvenating peptide serum, and that will apparently be coming soon. Um, so it is uh, apparently $52. It's going to be available uh, from uh, June 2nd online, if you are interested. They say it's uniquely blended with raspberry stem cells packed with supportive peptides to instantly rejuvenate skin and noticeably enhance radiance while helping boost natural collagen. So. Yeah, it has squalene and uh, uh, hyaluronic acid in it as well. Obviously, you'd need hyaluronic acid to pour the old moisturizer. So there you go. If you feel like being bougie, Glam, Glam Glow's got you covered. A uh, Touch of Glam are coming out with new uh, translucent iridescent sparkly shifters. So this is a sort of a little peek at three out of four of them. Uh, on the left hand side, we have Love. We have on the right hand side, there's Empathy. And uh, at the bottom is the shade Compassion. And you can see it's all at different angles and that's what they look like at different angles. So that's, that's pretty darn cool. So well done, Touch of Glam. That looks really, really nice. Lottie London have, um, um, kind of collaborated with somebody called Layla and they have two neon palettes in the styles Miami and Ibiza. They're available now. You can get them on Lottie London. I don't think they're on Look Fantastic yet, but you can definitely get them on Lottie London and they are £5.95 each. Um, EOS, which are known for, you know, their lip balmy things. Uh, they have a new glow, sunset glow, uh, lip and cheek highlighter balm. Who knew? Uh, it's an iridescent peachy pink shade with micro reflecting golden pearl. They deliver a luminous glow to lips and cheeks for four ninety nine. It has shea butter, mango butter, cocoa butter, jojoba oil, olive oil, and it is limited edition. It's currently sold out on their website, but you never know. You might be able to find them in places like Walmart, etc. So there you go. Um, Shop J Co uh, Cosmetics have come out with some new glosses. Uh, they are $14.99 and they come in a range of shades if you are interested. Again, they are an indie brand. Um, this is a new brand. It's They're called Rarity Cosmetics. They are cruelty free and vegan and they have just launched. So they've come out with the Enchantment Eyeshadow Palette, which is retailing for $24.99. And they are also coming out with two liquid lipsticks, uh, which are retailing for $16 each so they are all available right now for purchase if you're interested. Um, Chaotic Cosmetics have come out with a neon drip fabric face mask and that's available well from today really. Um, so the masks are reusable and you can use them when you're out and about. I actually think that's quite quite smart. Yeah like I mean I, I'm not bad at that. Uh, the masks have adjustable ear straps so you can fit it apparently around your face and also has a built-in filter to help protect against pollution dust and environmental toxins. So yeah there you go. Fair play. I think that's interesting. Um, La Luna Cosmetics have come up with new mystical paint pods. They are water activated pastel colours and they're also UV black light activated. Uh, they're available now if you want to get them. Like I said pastels and liners. That's, that's the thing at the moment. Um, we sneak peeked some stuff from Wayne Goss last week, but now we know the full tea. And of course, it would have been terrible if he didn't do gloss. Uh, Wayne Gloss, it would have been sad. But at least he didn't go full like Jeffree Star and try and do Shane Glosson instead of Shane Dawson. He isn't doing a terrible pun with his name, which 
Thank you. Much appreciated. He's coming out with like a, a lip line. So they have the Luxury Cream Lipstick. It's a classic satin cream lipstick reimagined uh, for $28. It comes in the shades Zinia, Zinia, which is a rich berry, Orchid, Burnt Terracotta, Car Carnation, which is a deep balanced mauve, Lily, a muted rose pink, Amaryllis, a medium neutral pink, Magnolia, a soft petal pink, Dahlia, a warm pink peach, Lotus, a deep brown pink, uh, Camellia, a light peachy beige, Daisy, a classic pink beige, and they also have the High Shine Gloss, which is a modern take apparently on the iconic 90s lip gloss with, for $22. They have Petunia, which is a deep nude mauve, a Cherry Blossom, which is medium neutral pink, Hyacinth, which is a soft pink peach, Hibiscus, which is a shimmering uh, cool rose gold, Chrysanthemum, well done me for pronouncing that, a shimmering golden bronze, Antique Rose, which is a shimmering rude, uh, rude nose, no, nude rose, not rude nose, nude rose. It's one of those days. And the last of the glosses is Tulip, which is a shimmering nude beige. And he also has the Essential Lip Pencils, which is apparently a perfect matte lip liner for $14. And they come in Cinnamon, which is a rich brick red. Uh, Sepia, which is a deep brown mauve. Natural Berry, a berry pink. Mauve, a deep brown pink. And Vintage Pink, which is a beige nude pink. And they were, are going to be available tomorrow, May 5th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Beautylish. So there you go, you can check those out if, if you're interested. Excuse me. Um, Kathleen Lights is coming out with some more um, nail polishes with her brand Lights Lacquer. Um, so the, there are six new shades. They're going to be available from May 7th. They're all very nude shades. Um, it's kind of a moot point because I can't get them here. They won't ship um, internationally. It's a thing. But if you're in the States and you like nail polish, there you go. Um, in addition to that, Wonder Lacquer. There's a lot of nail polishes this week. It, this is a new brand and they um, uh, basically are coming out with their first collection. Uh, that is releasing on the 23rd of May. So it is quite an advanced setting, but this is what we've seen so far, this kind of emerald and this sort of an orange. So that does look really quite pretty. Um, Bobby Brown are coming out with a lot of stuff uh, for, well it's a collaboration with Flower Girl NYC. Uh, it's inspired by Dennis Porcaro romantic flower arrangements and it includes a highlighter which has a beautiful like embossment of like flowers on it. It does look beautiful. They have the two uh, blush and glow duos in fresh melon and magnolia glow and pale pink slash pale glow. Uh, they have three crushed oil infused glosses in the shades red hibiscus, rose garden and sweet dianthus and you can get three cream shadow stick duos and they are going to be available sometime this month on Bobbi Brown and with other retailers so there you go the highlighter looks beautiful but I can't justify getting it there you go Huda have um I sneak peeked this ages ago but they stopped coming out with it because um sorry I'm just like scratching my foot because I'm itchy and gross I sneak peeked this a while ago but then they didn't release it because they were like ah corona which you know fair enough but apparently it's not an issue now who knew anyways they have their diamond bands which I am so confused by because if it's a lip balm, then you wouldn't want anything diamondy in it because then it's gonna tear at your skin. So it's either like either you're a balm or you're a scrub. What are you? What are you? Anyways, it's available now on their website for $29 and it comes in six different shades. Not for me, but there you go. Pat McGrath are also re-releasing their Mothership for Decadence eyeshadow palette. Um, it was part of their Star Wars collection, which makes sense. Uh, it's being released today, May 4th. May the 4th be with you, etc, etc. Sorry, I don't do Star Wars. That's as much as I know. Uh, it's $125. <laughs> I'd say by the time I put this up, it's already gone again. But can we be real? It's not an interesting collection at all. Like, mm, I mm, I wouldn't be bothered about it. I probably wouldn't use it, even if I was given it. Uh, Benefit Cosmetics have come out with a new product. Um, it is a new makeup sponge. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, it looks really cute. I'd like to see what it's like. How, you know, squishy is it? I love a good squishy sponge. I do use my um, little techniques an awful lot. Sorry, it's gross and it's filthy. Don't judge me. But that will be apparently coming soon. 
this. I lost my tiny mind over this and I talked to Rebecca about it. Again, go find her channel. She's uh, Rebecca JU reporting for Beauty Duty. And if you don't find her and follow her and subscribe to her, along with the other people I've mentioned, you know, Elena, Tia, um, I'm going to forget people um, along, along the lines. Rosie, Claire, etc. If you don't find them and subscribe to them, I'm gonna be annoyed. Anyways, I was like, oh my god, Norvina is coming out with new electric cake liners. And um, anyways, Rebecca very rightly pointed out that um, indie brands, of course, have been doing this before. Yeah, here's um, the Suva Beauty, of course, are an example that have done that. And she was like, oh, you could get stuff from Suva Beauty instead. And I was like, yeah, I could. I went on to Suva Beauty last night and. The white was sold out and that was part of what I really wanted so I will actually probably just end up getting these because I have a problem. Uh, anyways, it actually ends up being pretty similar in price as well. I'm sorry, I'm a very bad person. I'm a bad, bad person. This is their trio of water activated uh, cake liner shades with vivid opaque colour and versatile pigment uh, and it dries to a long wearing opaque finish for pro quality face and body painting. Uh, it's $30 each for the trio. So trio one you get an electric orange, an opaque white and an electric purple. I mean, I want that, but I also want the other one, which is an electric pink, which looks more reddish to me, but there you go. Electric yellow and electric lime. And they're going to be available May 11th. And I'm going to be sitting there twiddling my little fingers, trying to not get it, but I probably will because I have problems. Somebody help. Mm -hmm. uh, Kylie Skin have also revealed that they're coming out with a new lip scrub. It's going to be available at some point this month online. So, yeah. If you're looking for something from Kylie's uh, skin range that is, will tear apart your skin, that's meant to tear apart your skin, this is the one. <laughs> that was <laughs> horrifically shady. Oh, allegedly, allegedly. Not that she'll ever watch this, but you know just in case. Um, Matte Lashes have also released um, some pastel UV liners because everyone's doing it. Uh, the set includes seven water activated liners that glow under UV lighting. They're available for purchase at a retail price of $35 for the bundle. Would I be better off getting this than the... No, I want to get the white. Oh, god damn it. Why is my life so... Di no, if I get pastels, I don't really tend to use them. I need vibrant colours. Sorry, that was me making a really quick purchasing decision in front of you. Uh, they are apparently highly pigmented, smudge proof, uh, transfer resistant, vegan and cruelty free. Uh, you can get 15% off with the code MATT15, M-A-T-T-E 15, if you're interested. So then that would mean, sorry, quick math, 15% off, 35 would be $10.50 off. No, that can't be right. No, sorry. Let me think. Why is math so hard? Huh. Oh, 125. Oh, sorry, it'll be 525. <laughs> it'll be $5.25. Don't, don't listen to me. I know nothing. $5.25. It's bad math. Um, Ruled, uh, Ruled by Beauty Cosmetics uh, are dropping two new lip glosses. And this is one of the lip glosses. They are launching today so this is the one that I could find so FYI if you're interested there you go um KK Beauty have some new style of lashes uh, they will be coming in June 2020 uh so from the top there is peace in the middle there is love and on the bottom there is happiness I think the style love is my favorite I would happily smoosh those onto my onto my eyelids they look cute uh Victoria Beckham Beauty have come out with a new eyeliner it is their new satin Kajal uh, liner. It comes in the shade Coco, which is a rich matte brown for $26. It's available now if you are interested. That's it. hella expensive. Okay, myself and some of the girls have had, I don't want to say a debate, but we've had many conference calls about how, how we can put on lashes the best way in terms of like with, um, what you call it, um, glue, lash glue. Sorry, words are falling apart. I've been filming for a while now. And, uh, there have been debates, you know, put it straight onto the lash line, blah, blah, blah. But Quick Flick have come out with a new lash pen. It is $24. You can get it in clear and you can get it in black. They are also the same guys who do the Quick Flick thing to help you get like the, of the, the eyeliner. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been looking at that there stuff for a while. And I'm like, if you do that and you do something like this, I may end up getting this at some point. But 
I have to say, I don't really have any issues with putting on my lashes. I've gotten quite good at that in the last while. So, but there you go. If you have an issue with uh, putting on your lashes, this is a new pen that has glue in the pen that will run it along your line and it might just be easier for you. Uh, Moroccan Oil are coming out with a new set. It is their Blonde Perfecting Purple Shampoo. It is a tone correcting shampoo to fight brassiness in blonde, lightened brunette and grey hair. Uh, $24 or you can get the travel sizes uh, for $12. Um, there is also a set online uh, with Sephora if you're in the U US. The Better Your Blonde set for $30. It has a dry shampoo of light tones, blonde perfecting purple shampoo and Moroccan treatment light. If you are interested, there you go. Uh, Sparrow Cosmetics um, are coming out with a new collection called I Am The Walrus. Cuckoo Cachoo. <laughs> Please me. Look, I I also really want their um, palette, which is like um, uh, the, the one ring to bind them or rule them or something. Anyways, it's a, it's a Lord of the Rings inspired palette and their purples and blues and stuff in it and I, and I really like it. Uh, anyways, this is um, what they're kind of showing us that they're coming out with. This is the first four products that will be in that particular line. So it, it looks really pretty, very summery. Um, Life of Cosmetics is um, coming out with a new product it is called the future is female it's a vegan eyeshadow palette and it's available now for $30.14 which seems very specific none of the colors are particularly interesting to me I'm sorry I love the message you know the future is female woohoo girl power you know zig zig ah and all that but um the actual palette itself no bueno sorry now we're on to sneak peeks I know we've been here for a million years you're tired I'm tired I'm the one who's been talking <sighs> death comes to us all. Anyways, let's get on to sneak peeks. Jesus, I'm hoping you're playing this at double double speed. Um, Glam Light have given us a sneak peek at their new palette. It is the Ultimate Donut Palette. Um, no idea exactly what it is, but it looks squidgy. So there you go, looks interesting. Morphe uh, are said that they were coming out with something on the 28th of April. I didn't see it um, and I checked and I haven't seen anything so unless they've kind of pushed that back there you go who knows what's going on you okay Morphe you okay uh, Glow by Glory are also saying they're coming out with a new release it is uh, their paycheck that that's a little sneak peek as to that particular one um, Makeup Maniac Cosmetics have also given a sneak peek at a new palette and they will apparently be coming back with an old palette again um, Tracy Powder, Tracy's Powder Room is coming out with a new shade of eyeshadow. It seems to be blue, but with like a, um, not quite, like a, a bluey metallic. So that does look quite pretty. Um, Chaotic Cosmetics, so they're the guys who are coming out with the face masks. They're also giving us a sneak peek of their Chaotic Color Lash. They are wispy colored lashes that will be coming this summer and they look hella cool. Um, they'd be quite cool for like drag looks. Like just saying, they, they look cool. Uh, Lucidity Cosmetics are also giving us a sneak peek of a new release. Uh, I'm gonna call it right now, pastel liners. Yeah, pastel liners. I assume that's what it's gonna be. Um, Fashion Killer Cosmetics have also given us a sneak peek of a new release palette that is coming from them soon. Um, it seems to be 90s themed. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. If there isn't some sort of a like a, a reference to that, then I'm gonna be annoyed. Like just saying. Um, M Cosmetics, in addition to the um shadow that I showed earlier, they're also sneak peeking some other blue shades that they are coming out with. Um Jeffree Star has also hinted that he's going go going to come out with a stand to put all of his glasses on. And if you're a big lover of all of his glasses, you'd have a lot of his glasses. So we'll be looking for somewhere to store them. So Apparently he's got you sorted. There you go. It's gonna hold 20 glasses and it's a baby pink colour with silver details. Fair enough. Um, Sample Beauty are possibly coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. Um, this is a swatch of some of the shades. Um, it does appear that it may be a more neutral palette than before. And um, this is a little, a very very quick 
quick quick sneak peek as to the inside of the palette as well um yardy cosmetics also look like they are going to be coming out with something new as well so keep an eye out and peaches makeup have kind of hinted that they might be coming out with a new pigment launch so uh, it's all to play for and now now it is time for the enabler alert <laughs> We've been here a long time. It's very warm in this room and I think my mind is falling away like wet pieces of cake. But there you go. Let's get into it. Um, the beautiful Amanda Jane Coates, uh, or Amanda, if that's how you want to call her. Um, she has uh, been recognised by uh, Mellow Cosmetics and she has an affiliate code with them. Um, and they have sent her some freebies. Well done, Mellow Cosmetics. And she is sharing uh, her code, which is 15% off of Mellow Cosmetics. It is Mellow15, M-E-L-L-O-W-15. So if you want to treat yourself, there you go. Um, in addition to that, Mellow also have a Mother's Day sale where you can buy one eyeshadow palette and get another one for free if you use the code palette uh, when you're at checkout. Stila have 25% off everything on their website. So now might be the time to get some glitter and glows. That's, that's all I'm saying. Uh, Morphe oh, have a lot going on. Morphe have 50% off pretty much all of their sprays. Um, their colourful eyeshadow palette is down from 27 to 15 euro. It was at the time of filming, it could be different now. You can get two of their nine pan palettes uh, for $14. That's a 28 euro value instead. So there you go. Um, they also have this brush set for $20, but when I did look at it, that is sold out. So I don't know if they'll be bringing that back soon. Uh, be Perfect has the clientele palette, which was in collaboration with Ja. Um, they have that along with the Perfect and Prime for £20. So that's a huge saving because that's actually worth £45. So limited time only. Um, Jolie Beauty have 50% off their lips and their lashes at the moment. Um, although I think that ended yesterday. I'm a bit late off the mark. Um, Pinky Goat Lashes also has 25% off everything. Uh, Glam Glow are giving you 15% off of their stuff with the code IG15. So that will give you 15% off if you're interested. Uoma Beauty had a massive sale on the other day. It was 80% off. I picked up so much stuff. I picked up that actual eyeshadow palette some lipsticks, um, foundation and a concealer because I have problems and all for like 80 something euro and then about 10 euro of shipping so there you go. Uh, Herb Decay, the UK uh, brand, they have um, a reward going on at the moment where you can get eight samples of their top best sellers when you spend 50 pounds or more if you use the code hook me up. Um, so you'll get some free samples that way. Uh, meanwhile, over on the US side of, of Urban Decay, you can get 25% off uh, site-wide and uh, get free shipping um, if you use the code uh, SPRINGFLING25 because you'll also get a free all-nighter face primer. So there you go. Lucky, lucky you. Uh, Doll Beauty, of course, have 5,000 things going on. They have their Doll Glow Bundle. It's £40, but it's, uh, or RP is £75. So it includes their highlights, some um, lashes, uh, a mitt, and like a, a tanning thing. So there you go. Uh, OPV Beauty have a sale on at the moment where they have 60% off and apparently if you buy any product you have a chance to win a ring light as well so not too bad. Uh, Unicorn Cosmetics have up to 50% off uh, their products at the moment as well. Um, Iconic London have 30% off their glow bundle so they're, they're quite known for their glowy sprays so if you like those you can get 30% off at the moment. Uh, Molly Cosmetics have £10 lash bundles but they also have a lot of deals with where by the more lashes you get the more money you have off so that sounds quite cool. Natasha Denona have 50% off their Safari um, eyeshadow palette uh, so it's usually $129 it's down to 60 something but they also have 20% off their I Need a Nude lipstick which I have here in the shade Avril and it is it's one of my favorite nude lipsticks like it irritates me how much I love it 
but I do, I really, really enjoy it. Um, Makeup Addiction Cosmetics also have 70% off everything if you use the code LOCK, L-O-C-K, if you're interested. Sigma have a lot of stuff going on. They have their all-star brush set where you get a five piece uh, brush set for $35. And what I will say is um, their brushes are some of the best. They really are. They wear really well. I have no problem with them in terms of um, you know keeping them but they have 50% off like most of their brush sets and you can use the code save 100 uh, to get $100 off their premium brush kit if you are interested um, uh, MUA Cosmetics, uh, they have 25% uh, off of their website if you use the code pay25 Lordy, there's a lot. Feel unique. Have up to 25% off some of their makeup. And they're coming for me because they're sending me emails kind of going, it's your birthday, you need money off. And I'm like, go away. I can't buy any more things. Um, look fantastic. Also have 20% off some of their luxury items with the code luxury20. And I think they have some stuff on skincare as well. That seems to change day by day. Um, Cult Beauty have 30% off uh, their Huda makeup. But I will say... That feel unique, I think, has thirty percent off them as well. So if you if they're out of stock on Cult Beauty, check um, feel unique because you should be able to get it there. Suva have um, a sort of sale going on at the moment where you fifty percent off eyeshadow palettes and up to twenty percent off selected hydro liners, eyeshadows, lipsticks, and illuminators. Juvia's Place have a big sale. They have up to fifty percent off some of their favorites, and that includes like lipsticks, highlights eyeshadows everything like it is a lot of stuff uh note cosmetics have 25 percent off site-wide uh if you use the code spring 25 uh cloud 10 you can also get 15 percent off with them with the code for you 15 um so there's a lot of stuff and they have a lot of free treats so when you buy any two uh full-size benefit products you can get the benefit flock star which is worth 36 euro for free um you also get a free sig magic brush uh cleaner pouch with a sigma um f80 which is a well-known kabuki brush um and they also have a free eye mask with star skin gold hand mask if you are interested there's lots of little things. Uh, Sample Beauty also have a spend £30 and get a Paradigm palette for only £15 which basically means it's 50% off and I think I'm at the end now. Cutie Patooties uh, UK are a small little indie brand and they do all sorts of things but Rebecca on her channel has talked about using their nails. Don't look at mine, they're gross and um, she's she's got stuff with them, she's found them really good. Uh, but you can actually get 15% off with them if you use the code thank you cutie again all details down below in the description box oh, Sweet merciful Zeus never let me leave this for nine days again. That was awful. That must be like an hour and a half long That's I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I need to like lie down. I need to be still I need to think about my life choices <laughs> <laughs> but that is it. Um, that is the whole thing. That is our enabler alert, our new makeup releases, our sneak peeks, our consumer beware pieces, and just general shout outs. Um, do please like, comment, and subscribe. It makes me feel good about myself. It makes me kind of figure out whether or not I will continue with this because I'm not sure if I'll stay YouTubing um, because I'm not very good at it. And it does take a lot of time that I could kind of be using staring into the ether you know that's important uh do please share because sharing is caring unless of course it's an std um but stds you know uh, i'd almost i'm almost longing for one because that would have meant that i'd have had sex and it's been a while my hymen is growing back <laughs> i hope children aren't watching in which case good luck lads you know i have to explain to your children what a hymen is that is my gift unto you um but that is it i will see you guys in the next video bye